This is a Planet Zoo experiment. I want to see how far I can make people walk. Do, 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 do. So let's start by slapping an animal in there. How about you give me the lowest possible appeal? I am going to shove one frog in here. And now... Let's open the zoo. Let's speed it up a little. That was fast. You people turned around right here. Flop. And right there. So somewhere within this range, some of you aren't even making it that far. Someone stopped here. This seems to be mostly right around this spot. The few runners making it out here. So maybe it's based on time and not distance, actually. So what is it that is happening? You get to this one, and then you just decide to go home. It's not because any of your needs are unmet, and you're turning around out here as well. So that was step one. If nothing helps them along the path, this is where they are. Now let's see if changing the animal will make a difference. Now we have a gorgeous pen down here. Let's see. Animal trading. Who is the highest appeal? Gorillas. So let's put some gorillas in there. One, two, three, four, five. Go in there. Excellent. Let's just make them slightly less unhappy. Plop, 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 plop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Clock. Okay. They do seem to be willing to walk longer to see gorillas than to see a frog. Much longer. Whoa, you're halfway there. Oh, 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 we're turning around. What happened? Your knees are fine. So this right here seems to be the general area where people turn around. Okay, you guys just, you're still going. Wow. That seems to be the point right about there. Some people going a little bit further and some not quite as far. You guys are determined. Conclusion number one. Willingness to walk is greatly affected by the animals they are going to see. Now let's check. Biggest issue for this guy is hunger, thirst, hunger and thirst, thirst. Okay. Then what we're going to do is right before this area, I'm going to put some food and drinks. There we go. Now you will notice I have not put down any benches. That is because benches may also affect walking distance. So let's get these people fed and get on with this project. Oh, we have some walkers. There we go. They're actually walking further now. We have guests all the way up here. Conclusion number two, food and drink also increases how far guests are willing to walk. So you're turning around out here. Um, you, you know you can walk around each other, right? That was embarrassing. That is as far as they're willing to go, on average, with food and drink to see gorillas. So you're thirsty again. You need a toilet. You, I don't even need to click you. You, you, yeah, you gotta poop. You're just fine, but I guess bored. So what happens is their happiness goes down. Let's check out their happiness. Let's click this guy. So this guy just came into the zoo. His happiness is 79. Let's press play and turn the speed up and see what happens. Slowly going down. His hunger and thirst going down as well. Energy going down very slowly. Is happiness the determining factor for how far they want to walk? Energy has gone down. Hunger and thirst have gone down significantly. Happiness just dropped below 50. Going straight in there to get some food and some drink, which does not directly affect his happiness. Now, of course, putting other animals along the way would make them willing to walk. Now we have happiness below 30%, which gives us a red happiness rating. What the heck is up with the way you're walking? 
down to 20%. He's still smiling. 18%. Is there a happiness threshold at which they stop? Still going. 12%. Whoop! There we go. 12%. You turned back. Now you're at 18%, so let's see what happens with you. Do you decide to leave the zoo at 12% happiness as well? 16, 15, 14, 12, and you turned around. You're at 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and you turned around. You just turned around 12. That shows us that a happiness rating of 12 is where guests turn around. Now we have protesters. I wonder if they'll walk further. Do protesters even have a happiness rating? They do not. Pretty sure protesters don't have happiness ratings. They're here because they're pissed off after all. There you go. If, instead of a happy thought of prices being underpriced, they start out with an angry thought of prices being too high, will they walk less far? Many guests think tickets are overpriced. Thank you, that's the point. Now all of this litter should also help them to feel less happy. Look at all this crap. Now you're gonna get really close to that one. Will that make you angry? No? 9%. Wait, they made it all the way to 9% before turning around. So maybe happiness rating is not the issue. You guys are at 15, 14, and you turned around at 12. 12% right on schedule. It was good while it lasted. Really? But you made it to 0% before turning back. These people are at 9, 5, and still go. 2%. And that is where they turned around. And now for the next phase of this experiment. I'm going to pop down a bunch of benches here instead of the foot. Now we have a bunch of benches. Does that help? Yes, just turn the ticket prices back down. And press play. Is anyone actually sitting on them? No. Okay, so you just turned around. Your happiness is at 9%. You no longer seem to be consistently turning around at this point, despite the lack of food and despite the fact that you're not actually using the benches. Maybe just the existence of benches fills you with joy? 13. Will you turn around in a second? Yes. This does not make any sense. You have so many benches and you're not using them, yet they seem to actually make a difference. Let me just check something. Everything is as it should be. Everything is set to mimic franchise mode, even though this is not franchise mode, because if it was, I would have run out of money a while ago. They are completely ignoring the benches, but the mere existence of them makes them willing to walk further than if there were none. Oh! We have our first sitter. And she then went home with a happiness rating of 64. Okay, this is getting boring. <gasps> wow, that's awesome. Now we're back to the point where they should walk only to here. Unless trash cans make them walk further, which I doubt. Here, keep going. Is that because there's a baby gorilla out there now? Yeah, we have plenty of baby gorillas. You know what? Go to the trade center. You're messing up my experiment. They still keep going. Wouldn't it be fun if you could have a giant vacuum cleaner like this that you'd suck up all the guests? Okay, no more trash cans. We are exactly back to the point where they should be walking to here. We have gorillas and nothing. And yet they keep going. What changed? Gorillas, nothing. You should be stopping here. Seriously. What changed? Okay, okay, okay. so you're turning around a little bit earlier. Stop screaming at me. I mean, no one's going all the way out here. Okay, so you know what? Let's just run it for a little while. This reminds me of the time where I tried building a zoo with no animals and failed. This time I'm building a zoo with animals, but no one ever gets to see them. Now I want to see what education does. I put up five information places, I made the audio guide free, and I did that. These are all education thingies. We are back with a couple of new record holders 
which apparently shows that vandalism is how you should make people walk far. Breaking that has made me feel less angry, and they are actually going to make it. So as the only people ever, the Vandal made it to the gorillas. Has anyone else made it this far? You have. You also broke something. What about you? You also broke something. The education experiment seems to show that most people walk to right about here. Some walk a bit further, some do not. They turned around here. These people are making it quite far. I feel less angry after breaking that. And these people are now at 67% happiness going home after having seen the gorilla only because they broke stuff. Are you serious? Is it possible to get people all the way up here without seeing any other animals and also without breaking things? Bernie's beaks. You're getting three of them. Correction. You're getting four of them. Gulpy. 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 More gulpy. And putting in a cup of chief beefs. One more gulpy. No one stands in line. Everyone gets fed. You did not make it to the gorillas. You made it. You broke stuff. You made it. Uh, what? You didn't? They're right there. Right here. You wish you could have stayed longer to see the... Idiot. You made it. Did you break stuff? Yep. Now I'm going to put in benches. I'll take things that are not aesthetic for 500. Now another thing that they really like are toilets. Awesome. This fits in perfectly. Let's put in a few more. Obviously we need this toilet here. There we go. Also this one. Things are getting out of hand. What else is new? Trees. Um, oh well. Welcome to Miami. How many people are making it to the end now? What, you're turning around here? You're turning around before you reach the food and drink sign. When you have food and drink, and also benches and trash cans and palm trees and education. I can hereby conclude that the best way to make guests walk really, really, really far, it isn't food, it isn't drink, it isn't benches, it isn't toilets or palm trees or education. It is rage.